are going to see about the house price prediction now we are going to see about the overview of house price prediction the main objective of our process is to estimate the house price using different regression algorithms based on input attributes predictive models for determining the sales price of house in cities is still remaining a more challenging and tricky task the sales price of properties in cities like bengaluru depends on a number of interdependent factors the purpose of is this project is to create a model that can estimate the housing prices then we have here in our process we are taken the some data set regarding our objective from some deposit repository like uzi github like so on Uh, the system is developed the uh, different regression techniques to estimate or to predict the house price uh, by using rich regression and random forest regression then finally the experimental results shows that some performance matrix that is the error values after that we have to estimate the house price in terms of lakhs so this is the overview of our process then we are going to see the flow of our process first we have to select the data set the data set name is house price data set the data set was collected from data set repository like uzi github and kaggle and so on after that we have to read your selected input data set by using the pandas package then uh, we have to implement the pre processing step Uh, in this step we have to handle missing values handle missing values means we have to check any missing values is present in your data set if you have any missing values means we have to replace that missing values by zeros or some uh, median or mean value uh, uh, else we have to ignore that after that label encoding so the label encoding means we have to encode the data into some labels that is the convert the string into numeric integer value for machine readable the purpose of handling missing values means to avoid the wrong prediction then we have to drop the unwanted columns if any uh, column in our data set is unnecessary to your process means we have to drop that unnecessary columns in priorly after that we are implemented data splitting module in this module we have to split your whole data set into test and train test is used for prediction train is used for evaluation so based on ratio we are split our data set for example 80 is to 20 means uh, 80% of data is present in train and 20% of data present in test Uh, most of the data is already uh, every time is present in training part only smaller portion of the data are present in testing part then we are implemented classification algorithm so in this classification we are using regressions uh, such as random forest regressor and rich regressor after that we have to estimate some performance metrics like error values that is the mean squared error then uh, with the help of this error value we have to predict the or to estimate or to forecast the uh, house price based on your input attributes so this is the flow of our process uh, this is the output for house price prediction uh, we are running our process in spider ide from anaconda navigator the first model is data selection so this is the uh, here we are displayed some sample of data from your data set after the pre processing here we are checking any missing values in your data set so if you zero means there is no missing values this is the uh, count of missing values in corresponding attributes so after checking missing values means we have to remove the all missing values in our data set then label encoding so label encoding means we have to convert the string into numeric integer value so this is the strings which is present in our data set so we have to replace that strings into uh, numeric integer values then data splitting so here we are splitting our data set into test and train so this is the total number of data so after splitting the this is the uh, total number of train data total number of test data after that we have to analyze the some performance uh, metrics that is the error value 
values so this is the result for rich regression so this is the result for random forest regression then finally we have to estimate the house price so this is our sample of predictions so the house price so this is a result in terms of lakhs so this is the 